We are DM25, Democracy in Europe Movement, and we are a pan-European uh, movement which is trying to democratize Europe. I joined the uh, Democracy in Europe movement because as a person coming from Russia I know the difference between democratic and non-democratic countries. I'm here because I'm looking for a new way to express politics. For a long time I really didn't care about political movements or parties. I felt they were all the same. Uh, but uh, DiEM really does give me hope that uh, we have a common front. And then I thought that, but how can I get connected with the Europe because I am Indian. But I said, when I saw the uh, my registration and membership, it is open for all. I said, all right, then I'll get myself registered. I got my wife registered and then came here. I think what drew me to DN25 was some kind of a despair in 2015, 2016, where I saw that uh, I had this longing for some kind of a political uh, movement, but there was really, there seemed to be really no alternative. Uh, to the neoliberals or to the right-wingers or other leftist group which were mostly preparing for future defeats. I, this would be totally stupid to say that uh, I don't care about Europe because all my life actually I'm the, in two points of Europe like Germany and Greece and I go from one place to another so I, I don't know anything else. For me uh, DM is about connecting get together really different cultures, different nationalities, different structures, different ideologies and we try to keep these people together and try to, uh, to realize that maybe the next steps we want to take as progressive movement into a progressive future are the same for these people. So let's find out the next three steps and do them together and fight against right and neoliberalism. It is very important to show the European bureaucrats, the neoliberals, the big money, the big pharmaceuticals, whatever you name it, to show Brussels being the capital of Europe, along with Salzburg, um, that there are alternative ways to explain yourself. And no matter what, do it in a creative way, this is what I'm learning here, uh, I'm used to you know, the old-fashioned left-wing guys who talking about Trotsky and Stalin and oh, huge discussions in a cafe when you were students in the 80s and about uh, that kind of stuff. That is thinking, a thing of the past. We have to think new again. And I think Dian has some very much promising things to offer us. That's the reason I'm lying here. Okay. Uh, I feel we're all in this together. It feels um, more like a, you know, a civil rights movement in some ways that uh, is really inspiring, I think. The European Spring is, let's say, bigger than all of this uh, because it's a coalition of eight different political parties all across Europe because all these birds, all these political parties all across Europe have one and a single program which is the same for each and every country in the European Union which comes out of the conviction and belief that for instance air pollution, diesel cars, emigration, new jobs and so on cannot be solved on the national level. We need a Green New Deal which is not just a European Green New Deal but it's a global Green New Deal what we need and that's what we are trying to do. <laughs> where we are all hoping for the best, I think. And, uh, but you know, we started this crazy adventure uh, with the goal to make a change. And uh, even if we don't make a huge success, success uh, at the elections, it was crazy enough to be uh, worth it. That we uh, get uh, some power in the European Parliament to be able to stand there and to tell them that they have to uh, look what decisions do with the humans and with the nature. And that's the most important for the future now, because we won't have a second chance. And I think we have to have action to get hope back. What I expect from DiEM25 is that DiEM25 builds a real grassroots movement 
which is also intervening in electoral politics, but a real grassroots movement means to build up a European and even a global community of organizers and uh, grassroots leaders who are able to express those stories of life which really matter to the people outside there and which really can make a change, a lasting change. So we're coming to the end of the Saturday, which was a really exciting day. Uh, we had community organizing with uh, Zach Axley, who is like, we learned, um, a super great communicator. Then we had um, David de Castro, who was giving a workshop on social media. And a wonderful Evelyn uh, from Radio VC Cologne and Yanni helping out uh, on the diversity workshop. And that's it, I hope I get everyone. Yeah, and yes, so now we are kind of closing. We had like huge falafel plates uh, that we can hardly finish up. We carry them over to uh, the venue where we have like the uh, kind of um, maybe the climax of uh, tonight and the DM birthday party. So we're excited uh, and a bit tired already. <laughs>